All right, and hey there, Proxians, and this is Proxify here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Final Fantasy IX Let's Play. So I am in a little bit of a different spot out here. I'm not at the uh, at the very beginning spot when we were actually getting on out of the Evil Forest, but I am already located over at this place known as the North Gate. And uh, this place here is a little bit of a secretive type of area because uh, if you actually go and kind of move around in the old world, and if you find this area, you can get some free potions. Uh, from this area and uh, that is what I decided to do is add a little bit of some more potions to our inventory before we go and start doing anything else in the ice cavern because again this place is going to be a pretty wild area uh, there is going to be some pretty scary enemies as well too uh, such as the enemies that I did already talk about that will actually try and switch your HP around with you if you're not too careful and things could uh, excuse me if things can actually get pretty scary a little bit later on and uh now also too uh when you actually are inside the overworld um now since i am playing this on a ps1 uh controller and i am playing this on the original ps1 of course um the camera angle is going to be a little bit wonky so i'm going to try and make it as best as i can uh now i just kind of uh, perfectly made it like uh, like so i can actually kind of look ahead uh now it was a little bit hard uh, for me to do but hopefully i can kind of uh, adjust it a little bit more uh for you guys so that uh so that you guys can actually see where exactly that i'm going uh but there is going to be some new enemies that are going to be around here uh known as Moo. Uh, they are like the squirrel type of enemies uh, th that we're going to be uh, kind of seeing a little bit here and there. Um, now, uh, later on, uh, once we actually start going and heading on over to Dali, uh, there should be a, uh, a pop quiz type of enemy, which I forget what the name of that enemy is called, but he will actually show up three different times in the overworld. I'll try and do that off recording or maybe probably show that off to you guys uh, on screen, uh, but it is somewhat of a pretty hard enemy to go for, and you will actually get yourself a thousand gil if you actually are able to complete uh, his questions, uh, which you are able to do that three times uh, on the first disc. So I'll try and do that as, as best as I can uh, but that's gonna happen much later on uh, I just want to kind of just let you guys know about that uh, when we actually start heading on over to our next city uh, so uh, without further ado let's just go and head on over to the ice cavern which I believe is not really all that too far away from us because it's actually located right here and uh, so let's go and do that so watch out for any type of enemies as well too while we're going around and there should be a somewhat uh, type of entrance here. Uh, here we go. There it is. But of course, we're gonna get ourselves bombarded with an enemy. So who is this gonna be? Hopefully, it's gonna be nothing that's gonna be too crazy. Now, also too, you can also find uh, goblins here, and I think you could also find a spider. Uh, now we can also see that there's gonna be some of these uh, type of snake enemies. Oh man, that's a little bit too scary. Got ourselves a python. Now I don't really know exactly on what the what these pythons are gonna have. Ow, rapid fire does 10 damage. All right, so I'm going to go and steal, see if there's anything uh, important that I can go and get. Uh, we do actually have white magic for cure. Uh, I don't know if we need to worry about that now, but we'll kind of hold off on that. Ooh, some ore. What the heck is that? I'm not really too familiar uh, with th that item in particular, but also too, these guys also do have thunder, so that's why uh, I also do have most of my guys actually equipped with uh, some of these silk shirts that are here, because we got one from uh, Blank, and we also did find uh, a few from some other guys as well too. Uh, oh, yeah, also too, we also got that, that one from, uh, from Brawn as well during our, uh, time to make, uh, the impressions with the, uh, with the nobles all that great. So there we go, all finished and done with there. Nice, but no level ups unfortunately, but we do get some gill, which that's always nice, because it's always good to grab some gill. Now, uh, while we are going into Dolly, and it was a while since I did actually bring that up, uh, there is going to be a, a thing that we do actually need to go and uh, pick up at from Dolly as well, too, which that is going to be uh, the wrists, because I believe uh, once we actually do some synchronizing, that is actually one of the key items that we do need to actually get ourselves a lot of money. So the wrist is actually one thing that we do need to worry about. Oh, man, here we go. Now, it seems like uh, we have to go and worry about a python and also a goblin, so that's not going to be great. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Ouch. Okay, we are a little bit in a problem here. Uh, white magic, going to go for a cure on Vivi immediately. Oh, God. Okay, we have to be very careful. No, nothing to steal. Uh, oh, here we go. Nice. I just do a lot of damage right there. I didn't really plan on doing that though. Let's go set up for the cure. Gotta heal up on Vivi. 
but that's all right we already got ourselves a few tents as well so it doesn't really matter if we go for a few of the store magic as well uh here we go set up on that and i think that actually does it that knocks out the python so we're all good nice now also too i guess while we're at it i guess i could probably go and uh show off uh, what the other item or the other uh, type of equipment that I also do have uh, with some of my guys as well. Uh, now the uh, rubber helm uh, for Steiner I still actually do have uh, I'm not going to worry about uh, adding in the iron helm yet uh, because I do want to get myself a minus strike all uh, all set up and ready to go uh, but let's just go and check and see how everybody's doing. So uh, we actually just starting here at level four. We actually do have the rubber helm. So my strike is somewhat getting all the way up there to that 35 uh, type of range. I don't know exactly on on what happens with my strike, but uh, I know that later on, if we actually uh, complete all of those, it should actually give us three different stars, which I think uh, that is something that we can actually uh, go and use. I can't really remember exactly, but we also have uh, antibody and bird killer and the beast killer as well from Steiner. Uh, we can go and check on over the procs here. Uh, so we actually do have the Mage Master with the leather hat, wrist, and silk shirt. So basically all these guys uh, uh, all have uh, silk shirts. And uh, uh, Garnet are also kind of helped out as well too. We do have the uh, leather hat and the wrist. And uh, basically I think uh, VV does have the same as that type of thing as well too. So here we go. Got ourselves the Ice Cavern. So let's go ahead inside. And uh, there's going to be quite a bit of items to actually go and pick up and also some hidden items as well too in the process because you do have to use VV uh, to kind of uh, open up some of the different type of uh, frozen or icicle type of doors that we kind of have to go through here. So this must be the cavern. Yes, it is. And we're going to see some new font type of diet or new, new type of text font that's going to be happening here with the ice cavern at some point. But... Things are going to start getting picked up a little bit uh, scary around this place. But have you ever heard of the Ice Cavern? Sure. Is this the place? I think so. It's supposed to be near the Yale Forest. So I have heard of it. So it's supposed to be a beautiful place covered in ice. My grandpa told me about this place. He said that the cavern takes travelers to the top of the mist. So bravo, Master Vivi's grandfather must be quite a scholar. So we must think of upon escaping the mist. So my grandpa used to teach me a lot of things, but he passed away. Aww. Well, that was sad, but oh, uh, forgive my uh, indiscretion. Uh, so don't worry about it. Uh, well, uh, why don't we go inside? And while we shall, let's go and head in here. So, uh, the ice cavern. Oh, God. I love this place with a passion, but I also don't really like the enemies that are here. But uh, while we actually are on the topic about the Black Waltz as well, that's going to be a part of the Ice Cavern. Uh, he's also going to be having a partner with him known as the Sea Lion. And this is actually something that we do need to go and uh, actually steal the items from the Sea Lion. Because we can actually get ourselves a Mithril Dagger, which that is going to be helping out quite a bit with uh, Zendon. And uh, once we actually do that, we should be able to get ourselves Bandit. And that is going to help us uh, increase our stealing or, or our stealing uh, a lot better than what happened from before so very nice now uh be careful uh, around here uh so we don't really have to worry about getting attacked by enemies unless if you want to go and actually um head inside where those little uh type of uh free uh well where those little type of like like frost uh uh, is coming from I, I don't really know exactly what uh, uh, what you would call it but you want to be careful around these type of guys so we're just going to kind of let it go and wait a little bit. Ah, and then run. Don't really want to go and uh, touch those. Oh, no. And we're going to get ourselves to a battle. Oh, man. I was expected that there was going to be a battle up top of this way. Eh. But here we go. Let's see what we got. Hopefully, it's not going to be the enemies that I'm going to be talking about. Nope. Okay. So thank God. All right. It's not those enemies that we're talking about here. But we could go uh, probably for a... Uh, well, let's, not, let's go for an attack. Steel, uh, we can go and steal from this from a flam. Uh, we gotta sell some, uh, I guess we'll go for an attack, I guess. Don't really have anything to kind of help us out. But we also do have fire, so you kind of want to make sure to go and attack out all these guys. Now, I think fire, you can actually go and hit everybody, right? I think you have to hit select, and I think that actually hits everybody. But I could be wrong about that. Okay, uh, I have to watch out. Ouch! Garnet is already down. Oh, jeez. Wasn't paying attention to the uh, to the health bar there. 
But not to worry, we'll make sure to go and set up on a Phoenix down. Oh, man. Well, there we go, level 6. We got that for Zidane. And I think that is uh, the perfect level, I think, to kind of stop there for Zidane. Uh, because I don't really want to go uh, too high up because I don't know exactly on what type of level that the black Walt is going to be. Um, so let's just go and stuff for an item. I think we do have quite a bit of other Phoenix Downs. Oh, well, not a lot. Okay, we have to be a little bit careful about those. Um, well, we actually do have Cure. I could actually go and start setting that up. But while we do have a lot of potions, why not go and use them? Okay. So no more enemies. Let's just keep on going through this way. Now this is where we're going to get encountered to our... Ooh, want to be careful around here. Don't really want to go and fight off with this guy. Now it should disappear soon. There we go. So while that's disappeared, we can go and uh, head right into this uh, icicle type of door. And this is where we actually do need BB's help to kind of guide us uh, into this treasure chest. So there's got to be something behind it. So hey BB, yes. Can you go and break this wall down with your magic? Uh, so I'm coming. Alright, so it's time for Vivi's power to kind of help us out. Whoa, so I knew it, see? So there might be other walls like this. So I'm counting on you, Vivi, so sure. So there we go. So if we go and open up this, we got ourselves a free either. So not all that too bad. Oh no, we we're going to get attacked again. Oh, never mind. I thought if this flame was still going to be alive, I could probably just go and stop for another fire, but it's all good. Nice, level 4, and got ourselves another extra potion, which that will kind of help us out with BV, because I think we have, are almost about to get a little bit low on health here. Okay, uh, there we go. BV's all good now. Now, if we head up through this way, and want to be a little bit careful, I think there's a chest down there, isn't there? Okay, so how am I supposed to get around this? Oh, here we go. Got to get around from this side. All right, so there we go. So coming around this way, you can actually get yourself a free potion. And uh, with that being said, I am going to use that potion immediately to kind of help us uh, a little bit on some of our guys here, because I know that uh, we're kind of getting a little bit, uh, a little bit low on some of our guys' HP. Okay, now let's see. Can I? Uh, hopefully, I can dodge around this uh, freaking annoying freezing type of breath that's going on, or whatever this ice cloud thing is going on. So be careful with anything like that of the sort, and another battle is going to happen. And hit him again. There we go. And the flames are getting out of here. Nice. Now I know that we're not going to probably get ourselves into another level up at any point right now, so that's going to be uh, take us a little bit longer. Sweet. Okay, so another extra potion. And let's go and finally head up this way. Now be careful. Don't really want to get attacked by anybody. There we go. All good. Now, there should be uh, another uh, area that's coming up around here, which I think we need to kind of grab out some chest as well. Ah, here we go. There's like two of them right here. So, if we go and do something like that, we got ourselves a potion, but I'm going to be careful around with that. Don't really want to be messing around with it. Uh, another one of those type of enemies that are going to be wanting to attack us. But if we go and uh, hit this log here, we can actually go and uh, pick up this guy as well, too. So we got ourselves another Mage Master. Now, even though that we do have two Mage Masters, do not leave out on any... Uh, or, or, or do not think about trying to drop that Mage Master, because, again, we do need to use that something else uh, later on down the road out here. Okay, so with that being said, we actually uh, went and taken care of all that. Uh, now, there should be uh, one more area, which I'm which I'm pretty certain there should be another section where we can uh, hopefully find another place to grab ourselves another chest. So I, ah, here we go. I think this is it. So if we're lucky enough, we can use Vivi out here once more. And I don't really know what this chest is going to probably entail. Hopefully it's going to give us ourselves a, uh, a little wrist or something. But oh my goodness, I get another battle. Get those cave imps out of here. And good job, Garnet. Okay. Now, can I finally go and grab out this chest, please? <laughs> I just want to make sure that I can just go and grab this now. All right, there we go. That's an elixir. So, no leather wrist, no extra little hidden goodies there, but that's all right. Let's keep on heading straight down from this way. 
I think we're getting close to uh, to where we need to be. Uh oh. Ooh, can I just cut around here? Yes, I can. Phoenix down? That's exactly what we do need. Um, now wasn't there supposed to be another item somewhere around here? Yeah, there is. Now how am I supposed to get around there? There must be a, a little bit of a secret thing around in this area. Ah, here we go. So another job for Vivi to go and burn down some stuff. So that takes us right into a little bit of a secret right here. Oh no, and a battle. Oh great. Sorry about that battle there guys, but let's just keep a hand down from here. And we can get ourselves another leather wrist. So there we go. So that's exactly what I wanted. So I knew that there was going to be a leather wrist somewhere around here. Uh, but that is very nice. That we actually got that uh, finally here. Which we can now finally go and say uh, we can switch out with this wrist uh, for the leather wrist around. Which that is going to really help us out uh, with our uh, with our guy here. Now I want to be very careful uh, that we don't really get attacked by anything. Uh, okay. Let that just disappear. Okay. And let's just go right around. Ah! No. Oh, finally. Okay, geez. I'm out of, I'm out of that section, thank God. And I think if we just head all the way up here, this should actually take us right into a save Moogle. Which that is going to be very nice. <laughs> so let's go and uh, help out with this Moogle that's all encased in ice. So Vivi, go do your thing. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Ah, uh, you bastards. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Moogle, but oh, I, I can move again. So thanks, Koopo. Uh, well, at least, uh... Oh, here we go, got ourselves another uh, teach me lesson, which again, we don't really need to go and worry about, which I don't think so. <laughs> kind of understand what most of this type of stuff is, so I'm going to give you another interesting lecture for today. No, don't even need to even worry about that. Don't even need to worry about the card game or anything, because I'm not going to be trying that at all. Well, maybe. You guys can let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to do uh, Tetra Match or not at some point. Uh, but while we are here... Um, should I really go and worry about using a, uh, a tent right now? I don't think we're going to probably worry about that. I think we'll just kind of hold off. I think uh, probably till uh, until maybe a little bit later on uh, when we probably get over to like Dally or something. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm going to go and end off this episode off here for today, guys. I'm going to save the Black Waltz for the next time. Uh, so don't forget to leave a comment, like, also uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one and peace.